hi guys welcome back guys today i'm back with another video for you okay so yeah guys today today i will be doing a balloon design on a circle ring the client requested a full circle ring and some florals so yeah guys that's what we'll be doing today i've already pre-prepped my balloons in clusters of eight and I've already completed my mini balloons. So I'll start off with those and then whatever else I need, I'll blow up. So stay tuned guys as I begin putting this together and I'll circle back in a few just so you can see the progress. I'm not afraid of 
Okay guys, as you can see here, I am doing the color blocks technique. So I'm just putting one cluster at a time. For, I'm working on both sides at the same time. So this way the colors could somewhat kind of line up. Um, but yeah, that's the technique I'm using today. Once I'm done with this, I will be um, blowing up some extra balloons to fill in wherever the you know didn't get balloons for the bottom part of this circle as you can see the circle the bottom part of the circle is very close to the floor so what i do when i get to that bottom part is um i tie the balloon necks around the circle so there's actually no balloons underneath it just kind of sits on the top on the so it sits flat on the floor so yeah you'll see that part when i get there but for now i am just putting on the clusters um i'm actually gonna be putting two weights on the back of this circle but i haven't done that yet because we're planning to move the location they changed it last minute that they want to move the um location of where the circle is so yeah now i'm gonna have to move it over to a different area that is more open so yeah guys just stay tuned and keep watching
Okay guys, so as you can see, I've already filled the circle um, with the balloons. So now I'm just gonna go in with the mini clusters and top it off with the florals. And for the florals, I'm just doing, uh, it's like a mixture of pink and blue florals. There are some hydrangeas in there and actually there's two types of hydrangeas. There's like the hanging one and then like the single head ones. And then there's, you know, a couple other um, florals in there, some roses and stuff. So, yeah, guys, just stay tuned. Um, you know, you could put whatever florals that you want to use. Um, this one, I've done a lot of setups for this particular organization, Jack and Jill. So, some of these florals are, you know, from past setups um, because they match the color scheme that they have. So, yeah, you could use whatever you want, guys. But just stay tuned um, for the final look.
Okay guys, so as you can see, I am now putting in the florals, just a little pointer here. Um, for, like for the hanging flowers, what I did was I bent the stem at the top to make kind of like a hook and then I just push it through like the balloons to and hook it over where the balloons are tied so like on a balloon neck like where the balloon neck connect so I hook it over that so this way they don't fall out and then for the other flowers I'm just like clustering up like a couple heads of like roses and the um, hydrangeas and some other flowers and I'm just um, tucking them in between the garland um, if I was to do this outside, I probably would have chosen different um, type of florals. The, the hanging one is good outside because you could just literally hook it over the the, um, the the necks of the balloon. But for the other flowers that you're clustering together, I would not, I probably would not use those, those outside. Or if I am using them outside, what I'll probably do instead is do like a rubber band around the bottom of the, um, the floral and just use that to kind of connect it to the balloon so this way if it gets like windy outside or anything like that they're not falling off because then the balloon um the rubber band will help hold it in place um so yeah for here i did not use the rubber band i end up using um some balloons so just cluster the florals and then push the the tip inside of a balloon to protect the other balloons because what happened is some of these um i cut them so now it has like a sharp edge so when i like, try to insert them in between the balloons sometimes the balloons may pop and then you have to go in and fix it so to prevent that i would suggest if you're doing this you know using this method where you just like clustering them up i would say to put a balloon over the bottom part of it so that way when you push it inside it doesn't it's like there's no sharp edge to like pop the balloons so yeah guys that's my pointers on this by the way we're like at the end of the video so just you know tell me what you think about this look you could sound off below in the comments um once again thank you for subscribing thank you for watching thank you for liking and sharing this channel and i hope to you know be back here soon giving you guys some new content so stay tuned guys see you next time